one of these weird yellow legal pads and a ballpoint pen stolen from a tattoo shop. No, I didn't get a tattoo, but I'm assuming they want you to take the pen because they have their branding and logo on it. So it's like free advertisement for them, right? That's what I've been obsessed with drawing with lately. Here we got a video sponsored by Squarespace and I've been doing some of these drawings, just scribbling, scribbling away. Uh, sometimes just sitting in front of my TV because the, the nature of this kind of and just like almost feverish scribbling sometimes. I can watch TV and keep scribbling even while I'm not looking at what I'm doing. So it's really fun, satisfying, watching the textures build up as I, sometimes it's like normal hatching, cross hatching, some variation, some level of differences between perpendicular, non-perpendicular ha hatching, if that makes sense. It just feels good and no, I don't know why legal pads are yellow. But it's kind of a cheerful color. I used to not like yellow, maybe because my sister said it was her favorite color. But I think I had already chosen another favorite color. I think it was green. But this was back in a part of my childhood when I chose favorites just because people said you were supposed to choose favorites. Like, hmm, I don't know. It was always just like people would, that was like a huge part of conversation. Like, what's your favorite this? What's your favorite that? It's your favorite color, food, right? Uh, for a huge part of my life, strawberries are my favorite food. Don't know why. Don't even think I liked them that much. Although I do have fond memories of going to one of those strawberry farms where you just pay $5 for a bucket and you could just fill the, go out there, pick them yourself, fill the bucket, and you could also eat as many as you wanted. That was a good time. But also, I also have distinct memories saying the apples are my favorite food. So I don't know. Maybe I just like red foods what other red foods are there cherries i don't think I, I don't think we had cherries that often but i do like cherries huh pom are uh pomegranates red i know they're red on the inside i don't remember what they look like on the outside pomegranates are uh, i don't know Th those are just difficult to eat it's a lot of work but they are tasty and the juice stains like nothing else I don't mean to be difficult and picky about bananas, but I feel like their problem is there's such a narrow window during which they're ripe, if that makes sense. I don't know if that's a problem with like modern like agriculture of picking them off of trees, probably somewhere halfway around the world and then bring them over to supermarkets and then humans bringing them home and putting them on their counters and then forgetting about them for two days. And then by the time... I finally decide I want to have one. I'm like, uh, too many spots or not enough spots or wrong shade of greenish yellow for me personally. So I guess that one isn't good enough for me. Also, if you're enjoying the internet in general, make sure you carve out a little piece for yourself with your own website. You should use Squarespace for this. And you can just choose from one of their templates to start out. And then you can customize the template to your own liking all sorts of templates for different purposes, whether you want to have a little art portfolio or a big art portfolio, an online store or something for some events you've got planned. Maybe you do photography. These are all there ready for you according to your tastes and preferences. And then you can just kind of drag and drop the different modules in the template. And before you know it, you're good to go. So go get yourself a nice professional and functional website. Go to squarespace.com for a free trial. And then when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Peter draws for 10% off your first website or domain. Um, also, do you know about those wind tunnels where they put stuff in the wind tunnel and then they use these complicated computers and imaging systems? I don't know how it all works, but I've seen pictures of the wind tunnels and then I see pictures of computer screens where there's all these multicolored swirls around the object showing how the wind and the air is flowing around the object, right? And it shows where the air is swirling too much or too little or where there's density of the air swirls and where the air is coming and going from, right? And they also do similar things with like testing the airflow around cars and airplanes or they tie little sections of yarn or string to like every almost every square inch of the car and then they drive it around and 
I guess in the good areas of the car, the the string is just pointed straight back when you're driving fast. But in the bad areas where there's like ripples in the airflow, the string is wiggling around and maybe that's bad. Anyways, I think I need to do something like this with my shower curtain because it keeps doing this thing where I'm standing in the shower, taking a shower, trying to enjoy the shower and it will just, the shower curtain will just, just kind of drift inwards and just touch my leg. It'll just kind of billow. It billows in, right? And I just need to figure out where, why, how this air is coming from that's making the shower curtain do this. I mean, maybe it's even, I don't think it's static electricity because it's like, I don't think it's, I think it's too humid and wet in there for that, but maybe it's because, maybe it's the air conditioning. Maybe I need to just, clo- I don't, I don't close the, sh- the bathroom door when I take a shower. Maybe it's simple as that. Maybe it's like the, the difference of like all the steam and the hot air rising and moving around in the bathroom. And then like that swirl that El, like have like a mini El Nino effect, you know, going on in there in my bathroom and it's making the shower curtain. All I know is it's annoying. I want to know what's going on. I want to make sure it's not a ghost. I need to see the little air flow currents analyzed by a supercomputer. And also, if I ever get to design or pick my own bathroom setup in the future, I want one of those glass sliding doors. That seems so much better. Glass sliding doors never billow in and touch your leg. Although sometimes um, it's tempered glass. So I have uh, one time I was staying in an Airbnb with a friend and he was just opening the sliding glass door and it just exploded while he was getting out of the shower or maybe getting in. So there are downsides to almost all areas of life. I just, I would still pick this air, the glass door. All right. Right? Right? Yes. All right. I'm going to go scribble some more now. All right, bye.